So if you're dealing with self-hatred, uh, here's the thing. I was talking to my girl about this yesterday, actually, about, you know, when we're kids, um, we get, we get bullied, right? Some of us get bullied, not all of us, I guess. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna need to record this. So early on, um, you know, in dealing with self-hatred early on in, in childhood or whatever, we somehow get made to believe that we're a piece of shit, right? We feel like, you know, we're not born that way. We're born like, yeah, cool, I can do anything. And then something comes along and convinces you otherwise, right? And so what, what you have to do is revisit that situation and, and reframe it. So for instance, I was bullied, right? I had um, teachers tell me shit like you need to drop out and go work at Burger King and work your way up. Um, what are you doing in school? All you do is waste everyone's time. Uh, shit like that, right? Like, so I grew up with these beliefs like I'm not good enough. Then I had people try to make me feel feel like I wasn't cool enough to like fit into the circle. And the truth was, I always was. When you realize that people are always projecting, especially bullies, people who, who make you feel less, they're doing that because it is a projection of how they feel about themselves. And when you're young and you don't understand this, you just take everything personal. And so what tends to happen is that you absorb the projections of other insecure people in your life early on, then you grow up believing the, the truth they believed about themselves that they projected onto you. And so these beliefs of like, I hate myself, I'm not enough, I'm so stupid, I'm not good at X, Y, and Z, don't even belong to you. They came from other people's projections. And so once you realize that, you're like, holy shit, like so-and-so made me feel like this, blah, blah, blah. And now as an adult, I feel like I'm not good enough or I'm stupid or I hate myself. No, the truth is that belief doesn't even belong to me because it came from some Joe Schmo who was just projecting. So what do I want to believe? And you choose what you want to believe and then you start acting that way little by little and you create those new that new neural network in your brain that tells you this is your new reality. Just like that. And the more you be, the more you become. It's just that simple. Not easy, but simple. <laughs>